Hi Marty, it's very hot here in Perth. Can you suggest any ways I keep my worms cool? I lost them all last year. Um, yeah, so I reckon, so you've got to keep them shaded for starters. And you know, like anyway from, you know, if you're getting hot breezes coming out of like uh, the sort of like the Northwest or um, the, you know, like a, the hot breezes that come in there to Adelaide uh, off the land at certain times of year. So what my friends have been successful with, I never ha don't have the, the heavy fluctuating temperatures where I am quite lucky being near the coast, but you get um, bottles of like, you know, like Coke bottles, Pepsi bottles, things like that. Fill them up with water um, and then freeze them. Uh, and then you put them in the top part of your worm farm. So the worms go down when it's hot because they want to go down to where it's cooler. So they'll drive down. So if that, those, um, big ice bottles as they're sort of like melting it produces condensation around the outside and that keeps the worm farm wet and keeps it cool you wrap them in a lot of blankets so you need a lot of blankets in the top part uh so more than just one worm blanket you have quite a few and then wrap the bottles and then they'll go down and it will keep the worm and they'll they'll just move so you want to keep two tiers if you've only got one tier keep two tiers, fill up the second tier, and then I'll move to where they wanna be, where they're most comfortable. And you may even wanna feed them on the bottom tier if that's where they're going down to, or sort of midway down, halfway down. Um, and yeah, so that works quite well. You may, may, might need to throw three or four of those bottles in on a really hot day. So just keep a couple spare. When it's warm, put one in. When it's really hot, throw another one in. Sort of, you know, go for that sort of. And that, that, that'll work.